pandas number of rows. So you have your data frame, but you aren't quite sure how many rows are in your data frame or how tall it is. Well, let's go over six different methods to figure out how tall your data frame is. First thing I'm gonna do is import pandas as PD, and then I'm going to create a data frame. Now this data frame is going to have uh, 234 rows in it. I'm gonna have five columns, and here I'm actually gonna create my data frame using some NumPy random numbers. And so I'll also need to import NumPy as MP, fabulous. And let me go ahead and run this. And as you can see here, I called df.head, which we have another tutorial on, but this will just show your first five rows. So I'm looking at my first five rows and the, my five columns. Now, the first method that we're gonna do to figure out how to find, like how many rows are in your data frame is simply len, which stands for length of your data frame. Now, this is the quickest, easiest, this is the one I run all the time. Go ahead and run this. And as you can see, it says 234, which is, yep, that's the number of rows that I ran on uh, or created my data frame with. Now, the second method that we're gonna use is gonna be df.info. Now, .info is nice because you get a lot of other information for free. Let's take a look at what we get here. So what we get is, uh, well, it's very formatted, which is nice. And what we get here is not only the number of columns that we have, we get the number of non-null values in those columns, but then we also get this range index. Um, this describes what does our index look like. And as you can see here, we get 234, which is the 234 rows that we have. So this one's nice if you're just reading and you wanna to get to know your data a little bit better, but it's not so great if you're gonna be using the number of rows in a, a variable somewhere. And in that method, or in that case, I would use the, uh, the length of your data frame in method one. Now, the third way that we'll look at it is we'll call df dot underscore underscore len underscore underscore. Now, fun fact, double underscores is abbreviated dunder. Kind of interesting. We'll go ahead and run this and you get the same length here. Now, this one's quick, it's easy, but it's a couple more characters, which is why I don't use it too often. The next method, method four that we'll look at is df dot shape. And so df.shape, what this is gonna do is return a tuple to you with the number of rows and the number of columns. So to only extract the number of rows, you need to make sure that you call uh, the square brackets with a zero on there, which will extract the first item. Go ahead and run this. And here we get that tuple in the very beginning. And you'll see that rows 234 is at the start or the first item. So we need to call the um, square bracket zero in order to extract that out. The next method that we'll call is df count. Now df count is okay, it's a little bit slower, but it's gonna count the number of non-null values that you have in your data frame. Now, because we don't have any null values in our data frame, these are all 234, but if we did in one of our columns, one of these numbers would reduce. So this one's okay, but just be careful that you know if there's uh, null values in your data frame or if there's not. Now, the last method that we'll go over is gonna be counting the length of our row axis or axes. So you'll see here that it's uh, the length of your data frame axes, but it's your first axes. So let's break this down what this looks like. And so first thing I wanna do is I wanna call df.axes. And as you can see here, I get my first entry, which is my row axis and my uh, column axis. Well, I need to get the row axis because I wanna take the length of that one. So I'll call df dot axis under or square bracket zero. Great, and so we get our row axis. And the next thing I finally need to do is call the length of that to find out how long this row axis is, which will tell me how many rows are in there. And I get 234. So that is six different methods to count the number of rows within your data frame.